Chocobo. What creature, fair or foul, has affected the lives of the common man more than the noble Chocobo? Though the yellow Chocobo is by far the most common and the only domesticable sort, many other wild breeds of differing hues have been identified. In general, the other colorations of Chocobo tend to be quite violent, giving rise to the saying, yellow best for riding, aught else best for hiding. As even tame Chocobos are known for their temper, true domestication requires time and expertise. Their curiosity can often get them into trouble, but they are charming nevertheless and popular throughout Ivalis. As famed naturalist Malos once wrote, a little personality goeth a long way. Hybrid gator. Being a strain of gator originally accustomed to rivers in the tropics, later having adapted to a changing clime and life upon the hard land. Their black fur absorbs and then traps in the sun's warmth, allowing them to maintain their body heat even when the weather changes for the worse. The head is set inside the cleft in the upper jaw, over which they peer from deep eye holes on the lookout for prey and predators alike. Mesmena being a breed of Sleipnir conditioned to be the perfect faithful warhorse. Uncannily skilled in warfare, able to sense the moment and flow of battle and carry out maneuvers of some difficulty, such as the timely withdrawal from a fray to regroup and strike anew. The conditioning wrought on these creatures by the masters for whom they once fought was so steely that even after countless generations of breeding in the wild, it has faded not in the slightest. A tragedy indeed, for they consider all those not hailing from their long deserted homeland to be enemies and attack on sight. When and on the feathers of this strain of Erstrix carry a distinctly bluish hue on account of their craving for the flesh of the blue-furred panther. Though its wings have evolved such that it may no longer fly, its hind legs have developed to allow it to walk on land without difficulty. It has adapted remarkably well to life on the ground, being able to perform delicate actions with its vestigial wings, such as the carrying and holding of prey. Zoo an avian whose beak has regressed, turning into jagged teeth like those of a tyrant worm. They have not a feather on their bodies, but instead are covered with a taut, thin membrane, reducing wind resistance so that they may fly extremely fast when necessary and with little or no effort at other times. Thus throughout the day do they circle the sky, waiting for prey to appear upon the ground Viper. below. Being a strain of serpent, its body covered in leaden scales and its mouth replete with razor-sharp fangs, Favoring small animals and their eggs, it secretes a deadly venom from its fangs, which swiftly subdues its prey. Its midriff is divided in twain, each side containing a stomach with strong digestive juices connected to a long intestinal tract running down the tail. Their slender forms seem to suggest that they seldom eat, but this is far from the truth, their unique digestive biology giving them a famously voracious appetite. Silphy Entity to aid the weak, the gods sent knowledge on the winds. The winds loft the seed of flower and tree, tell of the approach of the beast, and carry the voice of an ally. But man cut down the trees, slew the beasts, and screamed in the waste he had created. The gods sorrowed and raged and sent a great vortex to flay the world of man to dust. The vast energy so released gave rise to the silphy entity. Zagnal, being a monster with the stature of a man. When the range of the werewolf spread into the southern plains, they adapted to their new environment, standing on two legs to better see across the vast savanna. Their thin blue fur breathes well and retains moisture, perfectly accommodating the dramatic temperature change between night and day. Though they do not travel in packs, individuals are clearly ranked and the weak always follow the lead of the strong. 